Allah is the best protector. With that motto, Special Security Force was established through Bangladesh Ordinance, which was promulgated on 15 June 1986. The purpose of raising this force was to strengthen the physical security arrangement for the Honorable President and Prime Minister of Bangladesh, as well as other declared VIPs by the state. Because of the changed system of the government, the Presidential Security Force was renamed as Special Security Force. Special Security Force is a solid, forward-looking and modern national security force with a record of outstanding performance. Officers from Bangladesh Army, Navy, Air Force along with Bangladesh Police and Ansar and VDP work together in this organization. The officers are selected through a unique procedure and subsequently become few of the luckiest amongst their peers to serve the head of the state and government. Officers joining Special Security Force perform the sacred duties to protect the principal at any cost. They are honest, sincere, dedicated and intelligent. And they are the most loyal souls around the principal. After the initial selection, Logistics Bureau starts processing all the required aspects of bringing an officer to this organization. Various records and files are meticulously maintained to keep the service performance and other aspects of an officer. Shortly after joining Special Security Force, an officer receives his identity card. He or she becomes the newest member of the Special Security Force and named as an agent. Training Bureau is responsible for making an officer as an all-rounder in physical fitness and master of shooting. This Bureau is responsible for making an officer competent enough to perform the upcoming responsibilities. The Director General gives his initial directives at the beginning of the training modules. While the agents are learning the basic theories of protecting the principles, the most important event runs parallel to make them a good shot, who all are basically combat marksmen. Agents are taught in details in the firing range about the various aspects of weapons and briefed about the range discipline along with safety issues. They are taught on ground with demonstration by a set of highly qualified instructors. To cope up with the modern threats, agents are also taught about various aspects of explosives such as improvised explosive device. To become more acquainted and familiar about the nature and countermeasures of IEDs. To instill courage through competitiveness, agents also perform different aquatic activities and dive or jump from a considerable height. On completion of on-job training, the agents receive the most prestigious and coveted lapel pin. He becomes an active agent. He is now authorized to carry weapon and fully ready to perform the sacred duties with the principals. He is equipped with his weapon, ammunition and other communication gadgets. He finally becomes the custodian of the safety and security of the principals. We are the proud members of Special Security Force. We are duty bound and responsible to protect our principal at any cost. Loyalty, honesty, integrity, discipline and strong moral remain few of the values to perform our responsibilities. Dignity, honor and pride with strong comradeship keep us united and duty bound. We are polite, but firm. Every day is a new day for an agent. In the morning, it is always a rush. An agent gets ready for a day ahead. He keeps his gears ready and checks every detail, including the dress and equipment. Prior to any event, the advanced team members collect necessary equipment and deploy them well ahead of the program. 
the safety and security of the venue and principles mostly depend upon how best in advance performs its duties. The latest inclusion of special security force, the tactical support team with their specialized weapon and equipment beef up either the advance team members or the close physical protection group CPPG. They are smart, highly mobile, strong in action and quick in response. They are the muscle of the CPPG. Prior or during any movement of the VIP, operations room of Special Security Force remain absolutely busy ensuring safety and security arrangements en route. They coordinate, confirm as well as perform liaison with other organizations deployed on ground. On confirmation from the operations room, the motorcade starts its journey. Company agents will still be with the principal to be a part of our busy schedule. The operations room keeps on monitoring the location of the principal throughout. Intelligence Bureau remains busy in collecting, collating and sifting the information and then disseminate the required intelligence to the desired persons, especially the advanced commanders. Briefing is done for identification and surveillance about threats or individuals. Staffs also move undercover to merge with the situation in order to get more update with least possible time. The highly sophisticated IT infrastructure allows the Intelligence Bureau to archive every single aspect of the national security. Along with the busy schedule of the principal, the staffs remain busy with day-to-day -day activities like duty roster, updating the schedule and pre-coordination of an upcoming event. From top to bottom, along the chain of command, everyone remain responsible to perform the respective duties and responsibilities. They perform with self-motivation as well as honor and dignity of their uniform. Presently, Special Security Force is equipped with the state-of-the-art training facilities for the special agents who drive the vehicles of the principals. Special agents are specialists in evasive maneuvers with the vehicle in case of emergencies to drive away the principal to safe places. They are well-trained, confident and superbly competent. Based on nature of threat and technological advancement in the present world scenario, different security components are already incorporated in Special Security Force. This organization is now vastly equipped with the most modern technologies and training, which is at par to the first world countries of the world. The highly trained and agile tactical support team is prompt and capable of emergency rapid response. Once they are employed, they move out tactically with steady steps to support the close physical protection group in order to neutralize any and every threat or situation. Tactical support team act as a specialist team and remain standby to support the principal's security needs. They train themselves under most adverse simulated environment. They are always ready to support the close protection or advance group in case of contingencies or emergency evacuation. Whether on ground or on air, special security force remain extra vigilant to support the protection of the principal and counter any adverse situation. They are the duty-bound band of brothers.
Their job may be done for the day, but there is no end to their responsibilities. After a hectic working day, an agent gets ready to perform the duties for the next day with the same full dedication, professionalism and unquestionable loyalty. They are the proud members of Special Security Force.